Hello, my name is Dr. Nemo Maozun. I'm the CEO of Telespecialists. Here, we're going to demonstrate the application of telemedicine to inpatient stroke alerts. Hi, how are you? I'm just here to check your blood sugar. My what? Your blood sugar. How are you feeling right now? I need to check my blood sugar. So we've, been, we've been checking it before meals. You have? Yeah. I don't know if I remember. Can you smile for me? Here, I'm just gonna have you squeeze my fingers. Can you lift this arm up for me? No. No? All right, I'm just gonna have Colin have another nurse come look at you with me. Hi, can I have a rapid response to med surge room 103, please? Thank you. Hi, I'm Crystal. I'm here for the rapid response. Hi. What's going on? I'm calling because I came in to check her blood sugar. She's been fine. I was just in here about a half hour before talking to her. She doesn't remember we're doing blood sugars. Her left arm is weak. Oh, okay. she can not smile. Okay. Well, let's check a blood pressure. Okay. I'm just going to put this on your arm. Then can you give me a smile? Okay. Can you stick out your tongue? Okay, good, good. And can you tell me your name and your birthday? It's Tara, I'm not sure my birthday. Okay. So her blood pressure seems to be normal. Um, and her blood sugar was good? It was okay, it was 104. Okay. So I think at this uh, time with her symptoms, um, we need to call a stroke alert. Okay. Hi, can I have a stroke alert, please, to med surge room 103? Thank you. Hi, my name's Ingrid. I'm the stroke coordinator. I'm going to come in and give you a quick assessment, and we're going to decide what we're going to do next with you, okay? All right, can you guys tell me what's been going on? Yeah, so I came up and responded to the rapid response. Um, her blood pressure was normal. It was 138 over 77, and she told me that her blood sugar was 102, but she definitely has a weaker grip on the left, and she has an unequal smile. She really wasn't able to stick out her tongue very well, and she also didn't know her birth date. Okay. Can you two tell me when her last time Nora known well was? It was about 45 minutes ago. Okay, so 45 minutes. I've started our clock, so we'll add 45 minutes to that as far as our time well goes, okay? All right, ma'am, your blood pressure is within normal range, and we're going to go ahead and take you to CAT scan. So, girls, let's go ahead and get her hooked up to the monitor, and let's go straight to CAT scan, okay? Okay. Okay. This is our transport monitor, so we're going to hook you up to this, okay? Our house supervisor is getting the teleneurologist cart, and they're going to meet us in CAT scan, okay? Our teleneurologist cart is a neurologist that actually beams into one of our computer robots, and that way he can see everything that's going on and give us orders right away, okay? All right, let's go, guys. The staff will meet patient in CT with teleneurocart. Patient leaves for CT. Stat CT of the brain is ordered under the stroke alert protocol and is tagged for the radiologist as a stroke alert and receives priority reading status. Telespecialists can view the CT in real time and make recommendations. Teleneurologist continues to follow the patient throughout the entire stroke alert. The patient is moved to a weighted stretcher to obtain an accurate weight for possible TPA administration. An accurate weight is preferable to a reported weight as TPA dosing is weight dependent. After CT, the teleneurologist advises whether the patient should proceed to ICU or return to their original room and primary care contacted. The teleneurologist begins the focused neuro exam. The nurse assists the physician and a full NIHSS is performed. In the case of probable TPA administration, the patient proceeds to ICU and the teleneurologist and radiologist discuss CT results and a decision is made to give TPA. Nursing mixes TPA, two nurses verify the dosing, and TPA is begun. Rapid transfusion for TPA is key. Telespecialists are able to rapidly respond to and treat inpatient stroke alerts, largely due to rapid notification by the hospital. When hospital personnel follow the set process, they activate the telespecialist team. Then the neurologist is involved in the patient assessment and decision-making process rapidly. This ensures the patient is able to receive the very best care available. When saving brain cells, every second counts.
If you are considering telestroke or telespecialist services at your hospital, please visit telespecialists at www.mytelemed.info. Telespecialists. Anytime. Anywhere.